Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekend reading. If you're new, please smash that like button and, and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Uh, just keep in mind some of these messages may or may not happen for you. Just let it play out. Let it play out, Virgo. Um, and as always, this channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo. So let's get into this weekend reading. And keep in mind, if you want to get a personal reading with me, go ahead in the description box down below. There's a link to my website. You can just book it, whatever you need. <clears throat> okay. Well, your Friday looks pretty damn good, Virgo. Starting with passion. Work in a brunette female. Okay. Let's just do it like this. Okay. So, yeah, Friday looks like some chemistry or passionate feelings. You know, it could be with another person or just you're feeling it on your own. You know what I'm saying, Virgo? Doing your thing there? <laughs> Please, TMI. Uh, let me take a look here and see. Friday, very passionate energy. So maybe you have a date or you have a connection with someone, chasing your passions, having a good time, some flirtation. Uh, somebody's going to be flirting with you on Friday, okay? Extending that lighthearted energy to you on Friday. Okay. All right. Let me get into this. Let's get into this energy. Okay. Starting who's flirting with Virgo on Friday. Passionate, lusty uh, feelings. Flirting, flirty feelings. Who is flirting with Virgo on Friday? Ooh. Oh, hello, King of Swords. <laughs> like, come on. I don't know. I don't know what I look. Don't blame me. I know some of you are like, are you kidding? But yeah. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they're coming in, in that energy, if they're another sign. Okay. Which is strange because King of Swords isn't generally a big flirt, but I feel like they're kind of going out of their comfort zone to get your attention um, on Friday. The other female energy, this person, you will be getting some flirty messages or phone calls on Friday um, or sometime over the weekend. Okay. Hmm. And go out for drinks. That's my bartender card. You see her? She's mixing them drinks right there. Yeah. Um, some drinks, get together, some flirting and some fun. So Friday, um, you know, if you don't get a call, Virgo, then chase your passions yourself, right? <laughs> but um, some of you might be having someone reach out, okay? You want to go get some drinks and flirting with you, and it, it could turn into a lovely evening, Virgo. A very lovely evening, Virgo, my darling. I think you might enjoy it. Uh, just one more card for Virgo for Friday. Kind of like some feel-good vibes. Hmm... Yeah, this is like, should I have that ninth drink? Now, I know some of you might not drink. That's fine. Um, but this is like wishes coming true. I mean, this kind of thing extends into the evening. It's what I'm hearing here. Um, I feel like you're going to be temporarily unavailable. Maybe like your phone. You're not going to answer some calls or just be out there trying to get your wishes met here, having a good time. Friday looks good. Um I don't know if this is a past person or a new person or someone, just a friend or someone you're talking to. Um, they're, they're showing up in some way. Okay. Uh, let me see. Chat. And I said, just get one more card. Oh my God. <laughs> Ten of cups. Wow. Total emotional contentment. Total emotional fulfillment. Friday looks great. Um, if you need a little love in Virgo or you need a little hugging or some kissing or some lap dancing. I'm just kidding. That energy definitely playing out. Okay. Um, and this is a potential to actually go the distance with this person. Okay. Like hopefully this isn't someone that you just meet at a bar and then all of a sudden you're going to get married. I mean, hey, what's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Sometimes people do that. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean it's not going to work out, but you know, anyway, um, this person could be, uh, there could be a connection with this person in a family event over the weekend or with friends and other people, a celebration or a party or something along that line that you can meet them, you know, at one of these places or, um, you know, it, it could be, it just feels like an outdoor kind of event 
um, that could lead into the night, that kind of thing. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's seriously like, a, like there's so much fun to be had. So, um, yeah, this looks great. This this just looks like maybe you're going to a wedding, or you're attending some kind of party, or going somewhere either with a plus one and it just gets hot and heavy, or you're going by yourself and you connect with this person. Friday is for for lovers. <laughs> Fridays for lovers. Okay, let me take a look at Saturday. So you've got work. You've got calling in your soulmate. Oh, okay. So Saturday looks like um, somebody you work with. Okay, so either you're working and you're making phone calls and you actually like talk to your soulmate or um, your soulmate calls you Saturday while you're at work. Or vice versa, they're at work and you get a phone call. Like that's the calling card that feels like a phone call of some sort. Okay, so this is like the next day. And maybe it's this person, you know, where someone's at work and then reaches out during work. Hey, I had a great time last night. Would like to see you again. It could be that energy as well. Um, for others, this could just be a situation where I feel like you're... If you're working over the weekend or doing something while you're occupied or distracted, profession, college, and workplace. Okay. Let me just get a little bit more. Okay. Huh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Virgo. Um, okay, I will say this because, you know, it's me. A lot of different messages come. If you've blocked someone, somehow they get through to you through your work number. Okay. Um, some of you may also get a call from someone um, while they're working or while you're working to tell you that they've made a decision. These are both decision cards um, about committing into a long-term sacred union or a loving relationship. Could be this person. <laughs> Could be that Friday fun, loving Friday flirt too but yeah Saturday looks like you know you can take these piles separately for example you know Friday doesn't happen you still have Saturday to look forward to right um if you want that but okay let me see wow yeah you're definitely going to be getting some kind of message um there's a lot of like pentacle the pentacle and the work card kind of fit together for me because I feel like there might be a conversation about work or and it's connected to career and profession. I'll tell you that. But it's going to be a shock because there's a risk being taken here as far as love goes on Saturday. So hmm, I don't generally have these turn into love readings on the weekends um, once in a while. But it feels to me like that's the way it's going. And um, maybe I'll continue and go into other things to see other areas of your life because I know it's not always about love. Um, Sunday, um, so if you happen to be a brunette female, um, your message here is to free yourself and take back control of your life on Sunday, okay? And if you happen to be connecting with a brunette female, um, it may be time to free yourself from them. All right, let me see what other messages there are here for you. Also, I want to tell you, Gemini... Uh, Scorpio and Aquarius energy here on Saturday. Oh shit, you got a new beginning in love. What? Wow, look, it's like all love all weekend. Yay! And I'm not seeing any past things. It doesn't mean it can't be, but it's not coming up specifically yet. So it could be somebody new for this weekend. Let me see. Okay. Oh shoot, you got the hermit that I can't pick up because guess okay a lot of self-reflection Sunday is like you know I'm ready for new love I'm ready for a new start freeing myself or freeing letting go of somebody else taking my power back and I'm starting over done a lot of self-reflection Sunday is you know Sunday is a day for reflection Sunday is a day of like you don't work Sunday is a day to relax right Monday through Saturday get busy on your goals Sunday is like we don't work we enjoy we relax R&R &R, we have fun we you know we do that's our free time that's our that's our day to replenish and regroup and nourish our souls mentally physically emotionally spiritually 
So this looks to me like spiritual enlightenment, a blessing coming in on Sunday here for a potential new start. Could be with another Virgo. Yeah, look at this. Making a transition, Virgo. Seriously, starting over. Sunday is, Sunday is something, Virgo. Like Sunday, it looks like you make a, a huge decision to free yourself and have a new start in your life, okay? I feel like this is something that you really think about on Sunday. It just kind of comes to you and you're just like, you know, I got to do, I'm ready, you know? I'm ready to have this new beginning. I'm going to free myself from someone from the past, uh, free myself from an ex, free myself from the energy of waiting for someone to come back or hoping they'll return um, and, and give this new situation which i kind of feel like it all ties in together give this new situation a try here and make this transition okay so yeah it kind of looks like a new relationship is coming in yeah look at you virgo you're here with this empress energy and it could also be you know if you're in if you like women the, the woman is showing up yeah as an empress this is taurus energy um light brown hair not dark brunette light brown hair okay some of you might be just like you know i'm getting my hair done if you have dark hair maybe you can lighten it a little bit um or you're you have a connection with a, a dark brown brunette female and and there's somebody new who is kind of like lighter complexion or lighter hair um some of you are going to also make a decision to go and do the ivf or to go ahead with a pregnancy or focus on that, okay, on Sunday. And I know most of my subscribers, you guys are all up in age, but there's some of you who are still here who are still a childbearing age, okay? And if you're males, you're always a childbearing age, right? So there may be a decision being made also about pregnancy or starting something. You're def it's all definitely starting something new on Sunday, making a decision to let go of some kind of past energy and start something new relationship um a new baby thoughts about getting married maybe thoughts about getting divorced um all that kind of stuff it could for some of you could be about a new job making a decision about that um starting new projects or feeling inspired to let go of something old and have a new beginning all right, let me see what your messages of love, and then I'm going to pull some like randoms as far as like what other things t could be showing up for you over this weekend. Okay, the messages of love to end the love portion of the reading. S sit tight. Okay, mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson, Virgo. So this is good. You've completed a cycle. That's what I feel like here and you um you're ready for love i'm ready for love i'm ready for love that's a very old band does anybody know who that is those two little lyrics we got jukebox house of virgo here i'm ready for love oh baby i'm ready for love <laughs> if anybody knows that song i will just die when i come back to read the comments i will i'm dead that is so old okay here's passion again try something you've never done before virgo looks like i mean i'm serious you're starting something new here that passion like over this weekend you're taking a giant leap of faith somebody else is taking a giant leap of faith there's definitely like new starts okay external party intruding on this relationship that might be the thing that you're gonna let go of like remember i was saying they could they might be just intruding in your mind um, where they come in and then, you know, you're like, oh, I got to let go of somebody else, you know, um, so you can have a new relationship with someone else, you know. Okay, yeah, you need to get away from whoever it is that you're letting go of and um, taking your power back. You need to get time apart from this person, either mentally or physically, um, because there's somebody else showing up here that's interested in you. Um, maybe some of you just need to take a break from that other person if something's not working out. Take a break from waiting and hoping. And give somebody else a try. Um, because I kind of feel like... <laughs> it's not like when the mouse is away, the cat... Or when the cat's away, the mouse will play. It's more like... 
I feel like maybe you, some of you, <coughs> oh my goodness, hold on. I feel like maybe some of you have been pushing away. Um, uh, other opportunities just to date, maybe if you feel like you don't want to let go of a past person, well, I'm telling you right now, Virgo, um, you can just put them on the back burner. Um, and accept other offers, okay? Accept other offers coming in. And, um, I don't know, kind of get your feet wet or just go out on other dates. Jesus, what's the matter with you? Stop holding on to somebody who's not even there. Let go. And go on them other dates. Go have fun. Go live your life, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm getting sassy. I'm getting sassy. All right, let me get a couple other messages here. There you go. Time to go. Get your GPS set. Take off. You know where you're going, how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed. Do it, Virgo. Go on that date. Take that offer. Moving to a safe place. Some of you might be moving or relocating to a better area. Or maybe you're thinking about it. Or maybe you thought you moved to a safe place and you didn't. Um, and now you're reconsidering relocating to a safer place. Um, okay, trust your intuition, Virgo. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. Just go for it. Yeah, you might be bored. <laughs> Maybe you're just done. You're getting bored waiting for somebody who's not showing up. Um, I feel like I feel like you need to get out of this this boredom. Get out and get moving and get busy and go laugh and have fun. Luck is on your side. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor, Virgo. Good things are coming, so be ready because you deserve this. Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out. It's coming back around, and it's going to be beautiful. Okay? Good karma coming to you. Okay? Somebody has a financial loss, and it might be a little bit of a shocker here. Um, so keep your eyes peeled dot every I, cross every T when it comes to your finances. I know some, a lot of people are having financial losses, so I don't feel like this is really a surprise, but maybe it's hitting you now. You know, there's a little bit of like, oh shit, I can't afford that $12 toilet paper. I gotta figure out, I gotta go to like the dollar store or something, or just like I told somebody today, go get a leaf off a tree and make do, girl, guy, <laughs> make do. Okay, some of you are learning a new school, a new skill, and that is how to ghost or block somebody. <laughs> first timers, are you are, are are my first timers here who like? Oh, I can block that person. Um, you know, I have an opinion on that, but my opinion doesn't matter. Some of you are actually like, oh, this is new. I'm going to do this. Some of you are doing this for the first time. You've never done it before. And maybe you never wanted to do that before, but now you're gonna. Okay. And yeah, you got a low offer. And some of you might be just like, you know what? Let me show you my skills. I'm blocking you. I'm ghosting you because I got new love coming in here. I like it, Virgo. I kind of feel like you're a little bit of a sassy pants this weekend. Just like me. Being a little sasser sasser. So, all right. A couple more messages for Virgo because I got to end it early. You guys, my grandson took a nap and he's going to be up like any minute. So I do not want him to wake up and me not be there. I mean, I'm in the next room, but you know. All right, let's just get a physical features for the person who's showing up over this weekend. Specifically, that King of Swords. Okay. Oh, well, you'll know them by their mohawk, okay? Alrighty. Oh, maybe they do a cosplay kind of thing. But yeah, we got a mohawk. Now, these don't have to all be one person. They can be. Um, but it could just all be separate descriptions plus size. Uh, somebody with a beard. Um, and if you're gay, this might be your your beard coming in. Uh, someone may also be slender. For some of you, this could be you too. So let's just say, that. oh gosh, I must ask you a question, Virgo. I must ask you, would you like to go on a date and have some drinks? And we could flirt until the night's end. <laughs> Okay, we got a mustache here. I'm about to draw some eyeballs on here. I think that would be funny. 
Okay, we've got someone who's got very long, luscious, luscious. I made a word, long, luscious, beautiful, thick, shiny hair. And they have a headband on. Is that you? Is that the, is that your lover? Oh, oh, somebody else has short hair. You know, I don't get it. That doesn't really look short to me. It's kind of like that um, Mrs. Brady look from the Brady Bunch. Do you remember? What was her? Carol Brady? Doesn't that look like her hair? Not her face. I mean, I feel like if Carol Brady were alive today and young, this is what she'd be looking like. Maybe the name Carol rings a bell for somebody. Somebody's name is Carol. Or Brady. Okay. Somebody else that has wavy hair. Do you notice how, like, all the Brady girls were all blonde? I feel like the Bradys were around today. They'd all be dark hair. Because that's kind of the thing. The brunette thing is really in. And someone is also short. Okay. Very short. That's not like... Like, I'm 5'4". Um, but this is like 5'2". 5'1". And, and, and less. Okay. Um, and if it's a guy... I'd say short between like five seven and down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got someone who's average height. Like it's all confusing. Okay. Um, so I, I I can't keep pulling cards because then you're gonna be looking at every single person and be like, is that my person? Is that my person? Is that them? So these are the specific features. Okay. Um, and I I feel like I would bookmark this reading. And if you have any of this, like, check back. If you meet someone over the weekend, um, check back to see if any of these features show up. And if they do, let me know, because that's pretty cool. If they don't, that's okay, because you've got other messages going on here. And if the rest of the messages resonate, then that's still your reading. So, yes, this was short and quick. And you guys, I just want to say, um, I put up that four-hour reading yesterday, and some of you reached out to me and told me that it was so awesome because you guys put it on in, in the background. One person put it on in the background when they were doing their chores. So they were listening like the whole thing. Another person listened to it when they, they were going on a road trip. And like the whole trip kept them occupied. Somebody else listened when they were working out. I mean, four hours. Maybe they only worked out like for some of it. But it, just the whole background thing. <laughs> made me really happy I know some of you were like what is this but I put it out and I will tell you I wasn't going to say anything but I had an incident at the gym yesterday near where I live and I was so shook up by it that um I could not do a reading like I could not even get my like I tried so hard to get myself kind of like mentally focused by the time I really was feeling even slightly better it was way past the time that I would do the reading so I actually had someone put together the four readings the four hour readings so that you guys would just have something I know some of you were disappointed about that and I'm sorry but I have to take care of myself first and so I put that out so you guys would just have something and I don't even care about the views or anything I just wanted you to have something so yeah that was my reasoning for that and I know those of you who are subscribers and who appreciate the channel and support the channel fully understand that and I want to say thank you for that um means a lot you know I'm a one-man show, Virgo. One-woman show here. So I'm going to leave that there so I can be at, at my station when the little guy wakes up. So I will see you all back here on Sunday for the members-only Q&A. If you're not a member yet, please become a member for $9.99 per month. It's like $0.33 cents a day. You can pop in on sunday afternoons eastern time here on the channel and you can just ask me some questions and i'll pull cards and you know do mini readings for you um and if you're not gonna be here sunday <clears throat> excuse me i'll have a reading up for you sunday evening as usual i am here sunday through thursday 10 30 p.m eastern and also if you want to book a reading there's a link in the description box below thank you guys for being here i love you all make good choices have a great weekend be happy and i'll see you back here very soon